folks. I'm uh, Art from Peak Design. I'm a designer and uh, I work on the Shell project and I'm going to walk through with you about uh, how best to set it up. Um, I have a medium sized shell here and uh, this is a, a Nikon T7000. Uh, it's a crop sensor camera but fairly big body on it so uh, this works uh, pretty well. Um, when you're sizing shell, the best thing to remember is that if you're using larger uh, lenses or if you uh, are going to be shooting through your shell a lot, just maybe size up. Um, and there's a really handy little guide on the app packaging and on our website that walks you through each of the three available sizes and uh, make sure you get the right one. Um, we've got uh, a couple of great things about shell. Um, mainly it's meant to be used on um, with capture, whether it's on a belt or a backpack. And uh, it's very easy to set up. You basically just feed the lens into the uh, main hole here, pull it over the top. We've got some great adjuster hardware here. So to tighten it up, all you're gonna do is just pull the uh, cord, the little loop there, and that tightens it. And you can do that for uh, either around the lens like this to really seal it off. Um, and then you're gonna, to release, basically just uh, pull this other little black tab here, and that pops the tension. Um, so you can actually set that up behind uh, the lens as well if you want to keep it ready for shooting. So you've got two different ways to set it up, like so. Um, so that allows you to pull your camera right out of capture, and if you're careful and make sure all your stuff is out of the way, you can go right back in, and you're nice and secure for when you're hiking and walking around. Um, to release it, I like to just pop the tension there and pull down, and then your shell is off. If you want to keep the shell uh, ready and handy to use, uh, there's two ways to do it actually. There's a small elastic loop that's uh, connected uh, here at the sort of center of the shell. You can wrap that around your lens like you would sort of a tether for a lens cap. And uh, that allows you to go into capture and install it pretty clean, like so. And then the other way, to, and then when you pull it off, it's uh, still connected to your camera, like so, so you don't lose it. The other way to do that is to have, have it attached to capture, like so. So, same thing, I can, it just uh, is wrapped around capture and dangles here. And uh, then when I'm clicked in, it's easy to sort of orientate in the right direction. And set it up, just like that. The, uh, other great thing about shell is that when you're not using it, uh, it's very easy to stow. So there's a little mesh pocket in here. All you have to do is just, uh, in its normal kind of state, just reach your hands in and pull that pocket, and then turn it all inside out, and it should all stuff cleanly into that pocket. Now that's great on its own and you can stuff it in the bag or you can pull that little elastic cord through um, that same one we were talking about that you connect it with capture and you can either hang it from capture or, or from your lens. Like so, so it's always ready to go. Another way to set up slide here is uh, in using your uh, camera strap. So um, I've got uh, a Talak Blue uh, Slide Summit Edition here, and uh, I've set up a shell on my camera. And basically, what you do is you just feed your anchors uh, or your camera strap through these little ports here uh, that act sort of as a, a shingle uh, and keep water from uh, entering through the top of the, uh, of the shell. So you just uh, click it into place like so, and sort of a camera uh, standard camera lug carry uh, setup here. And then uh, you're, you're, you're ready to go. Your camera will perform on the strap just like normal. Um, it also works great to connect to uh, down here. Um, the camera will hang a little bit more upside down, um, so you gotta be careful of, uh, if you're in a really rainy situation, you might wanna uh, switch it up a little bit. But um, basically, and then the thing to remember about Shell is that it's primarily a transportation cover, um, but it does have the great opening with the hood on the end uh, for shooting situations. So. It's not going to be something that you're going to be standing on the sidelines of uh, your kid's soccer game or something like that, shooting for three hours straight. It's going to get a little bit cumbersome for that and you need more of a dedicated shooting cover. But what it does allow you to do is pop the tension on the opening here, pull back the cover, 
and uh, give you pretty good access to the controls. Uh, for, so you can fire off shots uh, in between sort of rainstorms or uh, even during a rainstorm and uh, quickly you can stitch it back up and uh, be on the move again. And again, I, I think one of the things that we love most about Shell is the, this material is uh, it's thick and it's durable yet stretchy. So it's going to give you great weather protection, but because it's got that thickness and that sort of high pile in the nylon jersey weave, um, it does allow you to just take your take your camera, wrap it up, and stick it in your backpack, and you're uh, and you're good to go for your for your next adventure. So it's it's kind of it's we think it's one of the best solutions just for if you're not carrying a full camera gear, if, like you're hiking or traveling, you just have one camera on you. Um, it's a great sort of ultralight uh, protective cover. As far as uh, carrying for your shell, um, I wouldn't put this thing in the uh, in the uh, washer. Um, you're going to want to do a spot clean only on it. Uh, warm water, very mild detergent if if you need it at all. And um, I would treat it just like um, a nice technical garment, like a like a good rain jacket or a snow jacket. Um, this is DWR coated. It's a durable water repellent finish, so it's going to beat water. And then it has a membrane layer that's going to prevent any water from penetrating through. If water stops beating after a couple, you know, uh, using it for quite a while, I would expect it to last for at least a, a year of good use. But if it's if it starts to uh, lose that um, feeding and water repellency on the finish, we recommend uh, getting something like a Nick Wax um, uh, water repellent um, spray, and you just spray it on, let it dry, and it'll. Uh, bring back that uh, good water repellency. It, you don't have to have the water repellency with this. Um, it, it, water won't soak through um, to your camera because it does have that membrane layer, but it'll just make it quicker to shake off um, the water and then stow it back in your bag without the thing being kind of more saturated 